everyone, I'm Julia Willingham and I work with Catoosa County Extension and today we're going to be talking about some spooky spiders on this episode of The Bug Plug. Here's a short video just for you, all about bugs and what they do with Julia. With Halloween just a few days away, we thought it would be appropriate to shed some light on one of the most common fears, which is spiders. Don't get too frightened yet. In this video, we're gonna cover three of some of the spookiest spiders in our area, and hopefully you'll learn a little something too. The first spider that we're gonna talk about is the black widow spider. There are few other spiders that make people as uncomfortable as the black widow spider. Females are the most recognizable of the black widow spiders. They have with their black shiny body and they have an hourglass shape on their abdomen. Females are about five to 13 millimeters long. The male black widow is about three to five millimeters long and is seldom seen. The male also typically doesn't have any markings is all, and is all black. Adult black widows are most prevalent in late summer and fall. This spider makes an irregular shaped web in lumber piles or trash or in cracks and crevices around one's home. Only adult females are known to bite and it's usually when they're pressed against the skin. However, both are highly venomous. The next spider that we're gonna talk about is the brown recluse spider. The brown recluse is mostly brown, but has a, a darker violin shape towards the top of its abdomen where its legs are attached. With the legs extended, it's only about the size of a quarter. A more constant characteristic for identification of a brown recluse is its eyes. So most spiders have four pairs of eyes. The brown recluse has three pairs of eyes in the shape of a semicircle towards the top of its head. This spider is often found indoors where it is dry and warm, like most homes. This spider likes to take shelter in boxes, folded clothes, your sheets, shoes that haven't been disturbed for a long time. Brown recluses are generally not aggressive and most of the times when they do bite, it's because a human has accidentally stumbled upon them. The bite of the brown recluse has a big reputation and that is because when this spider bites it can release cytotoxin which can cause an array of really bad symptoms including tissue death. The last spider that we're going to talk about is the Joro spider. The Joro spider is new to Georgia as of 2014. It's an invasive species from Asia. The boldly patterned black, yellow, and red female can grow up to four inches in length including her legs. That's a big spider. These spiders and their size can seem very startling at first, but they do not pose a threat to people. They do have a neurotoxin venom, but it's not very potent. These spiders are often confused with riding spiders or yellow garden spiders. One of the ways you can tell the difference between a Joro spider and a riding spider is the Joro spider's web is yellow and three-dimensional and often bigger than the riding spider. The riding spider's web is white one-dimensional and more traditional in shape and also has a zigzag pattern. If you or anyone you know is bitten by a spider and are concerned, always contact your physician or poison control. Hopefully after this video, you feel more comfortable identifying some of the spooky spiders here in Georgia. I hope you enjoyed our last Halloween edition of The Bug Plug.